Here's a common watercolor question. How do I mix tan, or beige, bark, sand, khaki, or colors for fur, feathers, or skin tones? All of these words are basically various words for light browns. So one way to get them might be to dilute a brown paint. But sometimes the browns you have don't give the particular light brown you want. You could try modifying your brown with some other colors, but a more flexible and powerful way of doing this is to mix your browns from scratch. And fortunately, this is very easy if you know one little fact. Brown is the word in English we use for a neutralized orange. So that means if I mix an orange and then add a bunch of the complement, which is blue, I'll wind up with some form of brown. Which brown I get depends on what sort of orange I start with and how much blue I add. So this means instead of being limited to the two browns that you have, you can tune the brown to be more reddish or more golden, and then you can dilute it to get the particular type of light brown that you need. And since you're aware that all of these light browns came from orange, it helps you figure out what to do if you need more of a golden tone or more of a peachy tone. Not only that, real sand, bark, fur, and skin have variations. So if you're mixing your light browns from an orange that you've neutralized, it's pretty easy to vary the proportions of red and yellow to get a wide range of different lively, colorful browns. And it's easy to add more blue if you need to neutralize it and move it more towards a cooler brown or even a gray. And of course, if you're talking about fur or feathers or skin tones, you need those darker browns in a range as well. And you can easily vary your mixtures to give you more reddish tones, more yellowish or golden tones, or more bluish or grayish tones and a full range from very dark to very light. Mixing your own browns from neutralized oranges also means that you can choose the pigments you're using to have other properties that might matter to you for this painting, such as how staining they are, or how opaque, or how granulating they are. And if you are mixing with a red, yellow, and blue that you're using elsewhere in the painting, that will also help you achieve more color harmony. So try it out with some different red, yellow, and blue combos from your palette and see if this doesn't help you achieve a wider variety of interesting browns and tans, bark, sand, beige, skin tones, and fur colors. Happy painting, and I'll see you next time.